Hey guys, how y'all doing? I'm Tai. I'm a musician and a music producer, and today I'm here to talk about the new TAGU's late edition update. TAGU has been my main plugin for a while, and this new update's definitely a game changer. So, let's start by talking about preset scenes. Usually when we're playing a song, we use lots of sounds and pedals to create a great environment on it, but we don't need them to be on all the time. Basically scenes that we create for smart presets without any latency. And that's a great feature to have in a live environment, you know? Here's an example. Let's say I need a distortion for the intro of the song I'm playing, and after the intro I'm gonna need a clean sound, a chorus and a delay. So, to be able to turn these effects on and off, we'll create scenes to work with. I'm gonna select the scene A, and I'll create my distortion sound there. And after I'm done, I'm gonna move to the next one. I'm switching to the scene B now, and I'm gonna create that clean sound I need. That's it. We are ready to go. We could use scene C and D as well, using the same process. To make things easier, remember you're gonna need a mid pedal board. If you already have one, just enter the mid menu to configure it inside the plugin, and that's it. Okay, let's talk about the next update. The plugin already has so many great features inside, great effects, cabinets, microphones and so on. And with this update you have more flexibility while using the plugin. Now you can move the position of the mic around or even behind the cab. To move it away from the cab, just right click on the mic and drag it away from it. That'll create more resonance, more depth and more ambience to your sound. You can also change the microphone model you want to use by double clicking on one of these mics on the cab. Remember, if you increase the distance from the speaker, you can select the ambience type you want for your tone. So, let's talk about the IR loader improvements. The IR loader enables you to load your own impulse responses and even blend two of them. The cab impulse responses basically acts as the amp, the cab and the microphone combination. So just double click on the cab and you're ready to go. Now you can change the level, the pen and the angle of mic A and B. If you want to remove some unwanted frequencies, you can use the high and low pass filters to do the job. The Respire option gives you the feeling of being in front of a real cab. That's a great tool to use if you're studying or playing alone, but if you're mixing or recording, you want your sound to fit in the mix, so you should keep that option off then. The rear mic is the mic behind the cab, and you can use it to add more depth to your sound. Also we have a 45 degrees virtual mic in front of the cab, that's a great tool to add more definition to your track.
Okay guys, that's all I wanted to talk about today. If you don't have this amazing plugin yet, go to slatedigital.com and get your all access pass. There you're gonna find all the tools you need to take your productions to the next level. Peace.